What's up guys welcome back to yet another video and finally OnePlus have started rolling out stable build of Oxygen OS 13 for OnePlus 9 RT. After just two betas OnePlus have released the stable build. So in this video let's go through what all changes they have done and other things about Oxygen OS 13. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 9 RT which is currently running the stable build of Oxygen OS 13. If I go to about section here you can see now it says official version. Previously it used to say beta build and if you go to version the build number is now F.11 which comes with 5th October 2022 security patch. And guys, if you haven't received the update, I'll try to provide the download links in the description below once they are available. You just have to download the file, place it inside the internal storage, then go to update section, tap on these three dots and select local install. You won't get this local install option until and unless you enable the developer option. So if you aren't aware about enabling the developer option, you can just go to version, tap on build number seven times until you see you are a developer now and later you're good to go. And guys, before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes and we are just 100 subscribers away from 100k. So if you guys are new to our channel, make sure to subscribe and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Basically, we have covered all the new features of Oxygen OS 13 and comparison between Oxygen OS 12.1 we do have dedicated videos I'll leave all those videos in the description below make sure to watch those videos before installing Oxygen OS 13 to know every feature and difference between Oxygen OS 13 and 12.1 first let's talk about the benchmark results and we'll compare these benchmark results with the beta 2 so here you can see all these benchmark testing was done in high performance mode this was done on 25th October when we received the second beta wherein single core had scored 1108 and multi core scores were 3 1123. Now we have little bit higher scores with single core which is 1115 and multi core 3128. With N2 2 benchmark application scores are 7,41,175. We also ran CPU throttling test and here you can see the results. I did not see any kind of throttling issues. Maximum CPU throttled up to 87%. And now let's talk about some of the changes which I noticed after installing the stable build and we'll also talk about few areas where OnePlus needs to improve. So one thing which is still on beta phase and that's themed icon. So if you go to icon section, tap on customs, then enable match wallpaper colors after applying is the same case like before. We don't get the support of every application under themed icon. So this is yet to be fixed and I'm not sure when OnePlus will have the support of every application under themed icon. What are your thoughts about themed icon? Do let me know in the comment section below. And another change what I noticed is related to the quick setting tiles. So here you can see now OnePlus have removed the music tile from the quick setting tiles it will not appear until unless you play some music so let me play a music and show you guys so soon i start playing music you can see the quick setting tile of music player do appears and we also have the support of active applications so if you tap on those three dots if there is any application running in the background that will show over here under the active application tab you can directly stop the application from here the next change is layer to app dryer so here on previous builds we used to see little bit of transparency but now oneplus have given this solid background in the app drawer and if we are using light theme some of the applications looks quite weird because even they do have the white icons for example one of the application which you can see that's phone app even play store application and other applications like google one hdfc and few more so I think transparency used to look pretty good on Oxygen OS 13, but still you guys let us know what are your thoughts about the same thing. Camera application, I did not see any kind of major changes, but still will be coming up with the in-depth review in which we generally cover battery backup, camera quality, gaming and other stuff. So stay tuned for that. Soon I'll be dropping the in-depth review of Oxygen OS 13 for OnePlus 9 RT. Also guys, we do have the support of 5G and I have tested out 5G on my OnePlus 9, which is running the stable build and 5 5G is also present on OnePlus 9 RT. Though right now I'm not getting the signal. In the morning I was getting 5G service on my OnePlus 9. So if 5G services are available, obviously you'll get the 5G network on your device. Another thing which OnePlus haven't fixed yet on the stable build and that's layer to the login issues which most users are facing on OnePlus smartphones after Oxygen OS 13. So here you can see I cannot log in into the Red Cable Club. This was the same case on my OnePlus 9 I have also mentioned in my review video. So I had to perform the factory reset and during the initial setup only I logged into Red Cable Club because after completing the initial setup if I am not logging in during initial setup the device wasn't allowing me to log into Red Cable Club. So this is a 
everything which OnePlus needs to take care or fix as soon as possible. We do have features like contextual info which can give you information about your trips, food deliveries. But here in India, applications like Zomato and Swiggy doesn't support. Then we have the support of Omoji and also guys let me know how many of you guys use this feature of Omoji. I've personally never used on my OnePlus phones. We also have the support of special audio. So if you have good pair of headsets then you'll obviously notice a huge difference while listening music or other things. Another thing which I also mentioned in my previous videos that's related to font. So here we don't have the ability to change the font weight of Roboto. Other than that OnePlus San or OneSans do have the support of changing the font weight. Also I did know notice in the gallery application we did not have the support of auto pixelate which was initially added by oneplus so if i go to edit tapping on pixelate i don't see the support of auto pixelate so this is one thing i'm not sure whether oneplus have removed this thing from the gallery application or not because my gallery application is the latest one right now after that oneplus have added the global search feature in the oneplus shelf so from here you can search the content online or even on your device. But if you go to app drawer here we have the limited search options where you can search only applications. And OnePlus should add this global search feature in the app drawer instead of OnePlus shelf because I personally never use OnePlus shelf. I always keep it off. Now let's also take a look at the gaming part and we'll see whether we have the support of 90 FPS or not. So here if you see in the games like BGMI we don't have the support of 90 FPS yet though oneplus 980 was also considered as gaming phone and i don't think we'll be getting the support of 90 fps on oneplus smartphones in upcoming days or in future so guys this was a quick overview of stable build of oxygen os 13 for oneplus 9rt soon i'll be coming up with the in-depth review so if you have any particular questions related to oxygen os 13 then do let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day